on the way I vibe when I walk into the room. Wind blows underneath the soles of my brand new pair of shoes. Happy 2020, my friends. I hope you're having a great day and that this new year is treating you well so far. So I'm popping back on your screens a little bit later than originally anticipated, and that's kind of what sparked this video. Late last year, I was so excited moving into 2020, and I had all of these grand plans for videos that I wanted to create. And then they just didn't happen. I finished work on the 20th of December and then had to rush to get all of my Christmas prep done. It's also Louis' birthday on Christmas Eve, so there was stuff that I needed to do for that as well. And then, turns out, on Christmas Eve, aka Louis' birthday, we both came down with colds. And these colds lasted up until and just past the new year, we were starting to get over them. And then after a few good days, fresh into 2020, I came down with the flu in summer. It was so random and I've never had the flu before and let me tell you, it sucks. It's not a fun time and it took me out for a good week. And then when I was finally getting over that, my period decided to waltz in and join in on the festivities of fun. So, so far this year has consisted of me trying so hard to kickstart my goals and having all these factors out of my control derailing me and really just getting in the way of that happening. But finally, I am getting over my period and starting to actually feel like myself for the first time this year. So now I wanna sit down and share with you how I am planning on getting back on track for my goals for 2020 and not letting this whole thing affect my year. Basically, I'm just getting into it and not making any excuses. There was a reason I chose these goals in the first place. I need to look back on those reasons and just get stuck into it. I can easily sit here and just make excuses as to why I'm not gonna get started until next Monday, February, or even 2021. But I know that that just isn't going to make me happy if I do any of that. It's actually gonna make me feel like shit. A few weeks of sickness shouldn't derail my whole year and what I wanna achieve during it. And the same goes for if I get sick in March, injured in July, or my sleeping pattern just sucks in September. All I need to do is stop, refocus, and get back on track. Remember my why and push forward. Some days are going to be so much easier than others, but every time I choose to act on my goals and choose myself, I'm going to be that little bit happier and prouder of myself. And if I zoom back on my year and have a look at these first few weeks, it's really easy to see that that such small amount of time doesn't actually affect the grand scheme of things throughout the whole year. And then if I zoom back even further, that little insignificance is even more insignificant looking at my whole life in general. So there's no point allowing that little hiccup to derail anything more than its current duration. But if I choose to let these minor setbacks affect me and continue to push my goals back, I will really start to see that ripple effect in my life generally, because it's not going to just affect my goals or those little individual aspects of my life, but my happiness overall, and it's going to affect how I talk to myself and how I perceive myself. I'm not gonna be happy with myself for not following through on these goals that I know deep, deep down I really want to do. I'm gonna be disappointed and unmotivated in other aspects of my life. And when I don't follow through on these intrinsic goals, it affects my relationship with myself and therefore my relationship with others and the energy I put out into this world. When we don't take action, we're choosing to remain stagnant. We're choosing to remain in the same place that we wanna get away from instead of moving forward into the life that we so desperately want. One of my goals for this year is to do yoga every day. During my sickness, I did no yoga, but now I'm back into it and feeling absolutely amazing because of it. And it's unrealistic of me to think that I'm gonna get through the rest of this year without having any other hiccups, because I know for a fact, first of all, that at least one day every month, I will not be able to do yoga and that's okay. 
because if I didn't set myself this goal, instead of missing out on 12 sessions of yoga, I would be missing out on 353 sessions of yoga. So I think in the grand scheme of things, this is okay. Sure, I would have loved to kickstart 2020 smashing my goals and on an amazing note, but that just hasn't happened and that is totally okay. Instead, 2020 has so far taught me resilience and how much it sucks when factors out of my control control my life. But I'm now very grateful on the days that I do get to run the show and work towards achieving my goals. Okay, so that wraps this video up. Thank you so much for watching. Even though this wasn't the video that I was hoping to make as my first video in 2020, I still have heaps of really exciting content that I really can't wait to share with you. Thank you so much for being a part of my journey all through 2019. I'm really, really grateful to have you and I really can't wait to start this journey into this new decade together. I upload new videos every Thursday and I really, really can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my, oh my, my, my.